Hello everyone, in order to buy a house, you first need to have a rank of 10 standing in whatever territory that you want to buy that house. And all you have to do to purchase a home is you literally walk right up to that home that you want to purchase and then you click T to purchase the house. And then once you're at this menu, all you have to do is click on the purchase this house button in the bottom right corner of the screen. And then that house will be yours. The reason it's grayed out for me is because I'm in Everfall right now and I already own a home here. You can only own one house per territory location. And then there are three tiers of homes that you can buy. There's a 10,000 coin home, a 15,000 coin home, and a 20,000 thousand coin home and the amount of property tax that you have to pay per house level goes as follows for the 10,000 coin house the property tax you'll have to pay per pay period is 700 coins for the 15,000 coin home it is 1,050 coins per pay period and for the 20,000 coin home it is 1,400 coins per pay period and that pay period is about five and a half days long and in terms of what house that you should buy I highly recommend buying the highest tier home yes it's the most expensive and yes the property taxes are the worst but you get the best deal you'll be able to have the most amount of items within your home that you can use to decorate your fast travel time is only two hours cooldown whereas for the 15,000 coin home it is two and a half hours cooldown time and the 10,000 coin home a three hour cooldown time for fast traveling and one other important note is that within every single house you can only have so many storage chests in the 10,000 coin home you can only have two in the 15,000 coin home you can only have three and in the 20,000 coin home you can have all the way up to four. And what these storage chests do is they increase your total storage that you can have in any specific region. So let's say that your storage in a region hasn't been upgraded yet and it's only at 1000. Well, the moment that you can get your first four storage chests at the lowest tier, each one of those storage chests will increase your total storage by 200. And then so you multiply that by four and you have an extra 800 storage in that region now. And then over time, if you want to start getting bigger storage chests as well, then you're gonna have to level up your furnishing and you're also going to have to get recipes that allow you to create bigger and better storage chests. And then you can have a total of three homes, including your inn. So this means if you have enough gold for it, you can have up to four different places that you can recall to. And the three places that you should place your homes are in Cutlass Keys, Everfall or Windsward, and Morningdale. And the reason that you want to make sure that you have a home in either Everfall or Windsward is because these are the two trading hubs on the map at the moment. I'm sure once the game expands and the map becomes about twice the size, of what it is right now, this is going to be a different story. But for the time being, Everfall and Windsward are going to continue to be very popular and you're going to want to make sure you have a home there so that you can keep on bringing all of your goods that you gather and farm back to those locations and make it a super cheap Azoth cost so that'll make it that much easier for you to farm and then sell goods. And then the reason that you want Cutlass Keys is so that you can cover the whole bottom left corner of the map and the reason you want Morningdale is so that you can cover the whole top right corner of the map. And if you eventually do get all three of these homes, then I would recommend placing your inn up in Shattered Mountain. Then you can literally recall to any location of the map. And if you need to fast travel anywhere, you recall to that location first. And then your fast travel cost for Azoth is going to be super cheap to anywhere that's close to that recall point. And then if you do have your first home, I recommend putting your inn in Morningdale or Cutlass Keys, whichever place that you're going to be going to more frequently. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions at all, please post them in the comment section. Subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.